Most people in Africa have heard about the livestock disease trypanosomosis, which is transmitted by the sese fly. In some places, it is also called sumaya or nagana or the malaria of cattle. The disease is a major killer of livestock on the continent. But with the correct treatment, it does not have to kill. The first step to good treatment is diagnosis. A good diagnosis depends on finding the right signs. If you are not sure that an animal has this disease, you could give the wrong medicines, make its condition worse, and waste money. For this disease, you may see some of the following signs. The coat becomes rough. The animal loses hair from its tail. The mouth and eyes of the animal become pale. The eyes have tears in them. The animal has swollen glands or lymph nodes. The animal loses weight. The animal eats soil. animal has fever. The second step to good treatment is getting the right medicines. To make sure that you have the correct drugs, you should buy them from a pharmacy. The pharmacist will have genuine drugs that are stored in the necessary cool, dry conditions. Don't use drugs that have been kept in bad conditions, such as hot or humid places, or in the sun, because heat and moisture make drugs less effective. Check the expiry date, because old drugs don't work well either. Once you have decided to treat an animal, you will need a tape measure, a weight chart, a clean syringe with a long, sharp needle. The correct medicine. And dosage information that you can get from the instruction leaflet inside the medicine packet or from a chart. Hygiene is important to keep animals healthy. You should always wash your hands before giving treatment with soap or detergent and clean water. You should sterilize the needle and syringe with boiling water. After sterilizing your equipment, throw the water away. To mix the medicines, boil more water and let it cool. Read the packet to find out how much water you will need for mixing because each kind of medicine is different. If you don't use boiled water, you are likely to cause an abscess in the animal. Combine the medicine and water inside the sachet because it is a sterile environment. You need to work out how much medicine to give each animal. To do this, you need to know its weight. A simple way to find the weight 
is to use a tape measure and your weight chart. Tape measurements should be taken around the gut, just behind the front legs. This animal's girth is 134 centimeters. According to the weight chart, an animal of 134 centimeters weighs 200 kilograms. Knowing the weight of your animal, you now have to find out how much of the packet is needed by using your dosage information. An animal of 200 kilograms should be given a single dose of 11.6 milliliters of Veriben. Remember, each type of medicine has a different dose. And doses change according to the animal's weight. Take care when giving injections. Make sure there is no air in the syringe before injecting. The injection should be given into the muscle. Push the needle in all the way. Badly given injection may cause abscesses, nerve damage, and inflammation without curing the animal. Big animals need more medicine. Too little will not cure the disease. Giving too little medicine is the main cause of drug resistance. Small animals need less medicine. Too much can hurt them. Either way, giving the wrong amount will waste your money without improving the animal's health. There are two reasons for treating cattle with drugs against this disease. The drugs and doses are different for each. To cure the disease in an animal that is sick, you use a diaminizin medicine. These are usually yellow. You can also use ethidium to cure animals. This is a red tablet. To prevent disease in an animal that is healthy, you use an isometamidium product. These are red. In some areas, bad use of drugs over many years means the normal doses now have little effect and do not cure animals. This is called drug resistance. Find out if the cattle you are treating are in an area with resistance before you treat them. If they are, the recommended dosage for the curative medicine will be double the normal dose. If the animals do not get better, give a single dose of one of the red medicines. Sese flies spread the disease by biting cattle. An alternative way to prevent this disease is by treating the cattle with chemicals that kill the sese fly. These chemicals are insecticides and also kill ticks. Concentrate your spraying on the legs and belly because most flies will be there. When the flies die, it makes it less likely that the cattle will get bitten in the future. These chemicals can be applied by spraying the animals or as a poiron. Poirons are more expensive but last longer. Cattle that have been treated with these chemicals may still get sick with trypanosomosis because insecticides delivered as sprays and porons do not always kill sese flies immediately. Sometimes flies have time to bite and infect animals before the insecticides kill them. 
using insecticides on one animal does not kill a lot of flies. So it is best to use poirons and sprays when there is a large number of animals in the same area to be treated at the same time. This way, lots of flies will be killed when they land on or bite the cattle and the number of flies in the area will go down, helping everyone. Insecticides can be poisonous to people, so protect yourself from contact. People living in areas with drug resistance should begin treating their cattle with insecticides. This will reduce the chance that their animals will get bitten and infected. Fewer infected animals will mean that injections will not be needed so often, which will slow down the development of drug resistance in the area. If you always use these guidelines, it will ensure that the drugs you buy work better, saving you money and saving your cattle.